It has to be in English for me because. Huh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Jose or Jose, depends. And where are you from? It's a long story. I live in Prague, Czech Republic. Okay. But before that, I my family it's uh, from the U.S., Mexico, and El Salvador. So from the other side of the Atlantic. Okay. Right now you are in India. How's in How's in India? Yeah. Well, it's uh, luckily my second visit in India. Hmm. The daily life is, uh, let's say, very different <laughs> than other places. Uh, in not any negative way, but I would say it's uh, more chaotic. There's uh, <laughs> a lot of people here. So it is a different, very different pace of life than uh, what my daily life usually is uh, where I live. Okay. Like India, every people talk about caste discrimination. Mm -hmm. Have you faced any caste discrimination in your country ever? In the places I've lived, I wouldn't call it caste, but I, at least in all the countries and societies I lived in, mm -hmm. For a long time, since it's been at least three different ones for a long time, mm -hmm. uh, in all of them, even if it's not called caste, there seems to be a separation. Sometimes it's based more on physical attributes, okay. sometimes a combination of physical and socioeconomical or educational attributes. Okay. But I think there is a clear separation in those places. Sometimes it might not be that you're excluded physically, but more like in the how you're socially regarded or how socially approached and what you're allowed or not allowed to do and how your opinion is regarded or what you talk or not talk about. So I think even if it's not called caste, I do think there's, from my experience, mm -hmm. differences and certain separation in, in different societies, sometimes maybe society-wise and sometimes it's even in little context, like in a specific job or in a specific group. Color. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes it could be physical, but sometimes it goes beyond physical and it may be something more more having to do with behavior or your, let's say, degrees or, so, or status of your job or earnings, let's say, how much money you make or things like that. But, but yes, if your question was about <laughs> case, then even if it's not case, I do think there's separation, which would be, I guess, like a proxy for case. How can it be changed? I don't know if it can be changed. I <laughs> even know that is a negative. <laughs> but uh, sometimes I think uh, more like ca can it be changed or maybe how to deal with it better would be the thing. Uh, knowing that it exists and just uh, trying to address it. Mm. And uh, I, think, I don't think there's a blanket answer because it will depend on each different context each different situation mm. but I think it's more realistic and we have a better chance to deal with it mm. if we acknowledge that it's unlikely to exist since it seems to unlikely to go away since it seems to be rooted in some human some human uh, I don't know inclination natural inclination to I wouldn't say natural more like an inherent inclination to separate for in some circumstances, circumstances it may have a benefit, but uh, but in other ones it may have an adverse effect. But I think that the best way to deal with it, for it to have the least adverse effect, adverse effect, is to realize that it may not be completely gone. Instead of having what I would think is the unrealistic expectation that we can exterminate it uh, completely. Okay. I mean, it's my opinion, of course, that has nothing to do with <laughs> if that would actually work or not. And what